Okay? Okay then. Okay, then we move to the last reaction of alkene. This reaction is substitution using NBS. This is an important reaction and this is an important reagent, NBS. NBS is N-bromosuccinamide. This is succinic acid, right? Now there there are certain di dicarboxylic acids which are important, which you should know. If we start from the first smallest dicarboxylic acid is this of two carbon. This is oxalic acid. The next in the series would be dicarboxylic acid of three carbon. This is malonic acid. Actually, we will study this when we will study carboxylic acid chapter. But it, it will not hurt to know them here. So, let us know them here. This is oxalic acid. This is malonic acid. The next in the series is dicarboxylic acid of 4 carbon, which is succinic acid. When we have dicarboxylic acid of 5 carbon, that is glutaric acid. And when we have it of 6 carbon, then that is called adipic acid. Fine. So, up, you should know up till this much. But our concern in this particular reaction is of succinic acid. So, um, this is succinic acid and if you make a amide of this and we will learn in the chapter of carboxylic acid how to make a amide of S out of acid. But if we do make a amide of this, we will get this. So, this is This is succinamide. When we get an amide, you know what um, what an amide is. This group is called amide. Whatever this R is. Previously there was a OH here. This was a carboxylic acid. When you remove that OH and when you got a NS2 instead of that OH, we, that's a amide. When we have a dicarboxylic acid, we we get a cyclic amide like this. So nevertheless, this is amide. Out of succinic acid, this is succinamide, right? When we remove one of the hydrogen from succinamide by bromine then this becomes n bromo succinamide and this is what NBS is. So, in the, this reaction of NBS, this is our starting reagent NBS, n bromo succinamide. Fine? Fine. Now, what happens when we take n bromo succinamide? n bromo succinamide, only n bromo succinamide is not going to do anything. We have to take HBr along with n succinamide When we do that, from the last two reactions, we have been talking about repulsion because of lone pair. Let us extend here also. Now, this bromine has three lone pairs and this nitrogen has one lone pair. And they are not going to live very peacefully alongside with each other. They are going to repulse each other. And repulsion is going to be substantial because there are three lone pairs on this bromine. So, obviously, this my n succinamide this NBS will like to minimize that repulsion. When we have a NBr here, this bonds break very easily. Br dot comes out of here. And then this N dot, abstract a hydrogen from HBr, becomes NH. And this small, cute, little hydrogen offers no repulsion. So, nitrogen is happy. Br dot from here and Br dot from here forms Br2. And this is what this is what effectively goes for reaction. When we add a light, when we add light to this Br2, this Br2 again breaks and form Br dot. And this Br dot will actually will go and do substitution. So this is what background of this reaction is. This is this this actually you need not know. You what you have to know is how to write the product. But I, I told you just to get a little feel of what this NPS is doing. 
In the reaction, we will write just NBS, but just NBS is not going to do anything. We have to add HBr, we have to add light. This is one way of producing Br dot out of H, uh, NBS. There, there would be 10 other methods to get Br dot out of NBS. This is one of them. But we don't have to get into the details of what the reaction, what happens, how, how NBS actually produces Br dot. But what you have to remember till the last day of your preparation is NBS produces Br dot very slowly and in such a way that the concentration of Br dot remains constant in the system. Now that, how that control is being, being done, slightly I have told you, a little hint I have given because this the whole process would be happening very slowly because for the production of this Br dot itself, a lot of number of steps is required. So this, this reaction would be a slow reaction. So a Br dot produced in the system effectively would be coming out very slowly. The rate of production of Br dot will be slow. And this is what we capitalize in this reaction. Let's see how. Before I rub this off, let me again recapit recapitulate. The purpose of NBS is to get Br dot slowly into the system. Let's see why. Uh, 